Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to my holiday gift guide, Black Friday video of best tech to pick up this holiday. Now, before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon to get notified of the latest videos. Now, let's go ahead and find out what kind of tech you can pick up this holiday season that makes a lot of sense for you and also at a good price. So the very first piece of tech is the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. I love this device when it came out and I love what it offers in total. You've got, of course, the whole S20 range specs built into this device, Snapdragon 865, you've got storage of up to uh, 512, expandable via micro SD, you've got uh, S20 range cameras, and also performance with a 4,500 milliamp battery. But it's also priced at $549 right now on Amazon. And I'll leave that link down for you guys below for the S20 FE 5G, you really can't go wrong. You can pick it up in multiple colors. And again, it is a solid flagship phone at of course a mid tier price. Now, when thinking of picking up devices for the holidays, laptops are something that come to mind. I've got a couple for you. The very first one is something that I really loved checking out this year was the Asus Zephyrus G14. G14 is a great laptop that gives you just top level desktop performance on a 14 inch form factor that is really something you have to behold and see. Definitely check out my full video on it. But the kind of performance you get from this in terms of gaming is truly impressive. Plus you do get up to about 10 hours of battery life from your day to day tasks. So you have something you can take around with you, that you can game and also do a lot of work. That makes a lot of sense and it is truly a beast. Definitely check it out. Now, if you're looking for something that is smaller and very, very portable, I have to definitely recommend the Dell XPS 13 uh, with the Intel uh, 11th gen processor. It is a portable and light laptop, comes with two Thunderbolt 4 ports. It's got a touchscreen display, it can go up to 4K, depending on which, uh, of course, styling you pick. But the performance on that, in doing some light gaming as well, so you having up to about 14 to 16 hours of battery life, is very, very impressive. And again, I really like the size. I really like the build. Dell's some, Dell some really good stuff on this in general. Now, the last laptop I have for you is the LG uh, Ultra PC uh, 17. Now, the Ultra PC is a great laptop if you want something bigger. 17 inch laptop that still has some, some performance to it. It's got a GTX 1650 built in. Uh, you've got Intel's processor built into this as well. So you've got a really good performance, about 16 hours of battery life in total, but also really light because it's part of that gram line. So it's about 4.4 pounds. So you can get gaming, functionality on a larger display as much as you want to. Now, some of you Mac got fans are going, what about MacBooks? Well, I definitely will recommend the brand new MacBook uh, M1. I think it's fine to get the MacBook Air instead of the MacBook Pro because the M1 chipset really does a great job and the functionality is, is really impressive from what we've seen. And you can see more in my video on that. But if you want to pick up a MacBook, the MacBook Air M1, I think goes a long way. Now, our next device, of course, are true wireless buds. And as you know, they are a dime a dozen throughout the, the year. And here's one that I truly like. I'm talking about the Jabra Elite 85T. Now, Jabra has come in with something that's really unique and interesting. Uh, it's, no, it's got active noise cancellation. It's got a nice slim form factor and it just sounds really good. Now, they've got a robust app. You can go in and do all the things you want to, but I think overall you enjoy these pair of true wireless buds because they fit in well and they give you some really clean sound with some great active noise cancellation as well. One that anyone would pick up if you're looking for something premium for the holiday, I think the Jabra 85T, Elite 85T, is the way to go. Now, continue the trend in audio. Nothing beats the Sony WH-1000 Mark IV for the over-the-ear cans. If you're looking for active noise cancellation and just overall great sound, they do a fantastic job in just giving you the mix of both. And plus the new added features, uh, where once you start talking, it pauses your music uh, and you can talk to somebody. Those features really add more to this headset than anything else. Building on what it did with the WH-1000 Mark III to so the Mark IV, I think these are the best active noise cancelling headphones to get this year, especially working from home like we all do now. So definitely check this out. Now moving over to some really high-end headphones that you can get at an affordable price. I'm talking about the HiFamman Diva. Now I love them because these are open back headphones, 
Bluetooth connectivity, and the sound is just ridiculous. If you want something premium, but don't want to spend too much money, and you also want that connectivity, this is the way to go, and probably one of the best ones to actually pick up this holiday season, because they combine the mixture of just great high fidelity audio, as well as Bluetooth connectivity to your smartphone, that gives you a sound that is mind blowing. So definitely check out the Hi-Fi Man Diva. So if you're looking for a TV this holiday season, one TV I suggest you definitely should check out is the LG OLED. And I'm talking about the 48 inch CX OLED. I love this and you guys can check out my videos I've done. Uh, this is a TV that covers the gamut for you. It's got HDMI 2.1, you've got VRR. So if in case you're picking up say the Xbox Series X, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series S, or even gaming on your PC, this TV does it all for you. It hits the gambit and, in, and it just looks absolutely fantastic. Whether you're playing on your console or you're playing on your PC, uh, you'd be truly amazed by what LG has done with the 48 inch CX OLED this year. Now, of course, we have to look at smart speakers this year, and there are quite a few new refreshes from uh, the different companies, but one I really like and I was truly amazed with to see this year is the Amazon Echo 2020. It's got a very rich and loud sound base, but also has much quicker and faster response with the new chipset that has that new um, MediaTek chipset in there, allowing you to get quicker responses from Alexa and also giving you you a very rich, robust audio system. Plus, you have connectivity to all the different Alexa devices as well. They have over, I believe, uh, 100,000 devices in total. So you've got something that's cost-effective at $99 and also some really great sound to boot. So if you're looking for a gaming monitor to pick up, you gotta check out the Samsung Odyssey G9. Yes, this is a behemoth bad boy, 49 inches, but it packs a punch and it covers a whole ratio. Yes, it's a combination of literally two 27 inch monitors, giving you a massive 49 inch monitor resolution of 5120 by 1440. You've got a refresh rate of 240 hertz, one millisecond response time, G-Sync compatibility, FreeSync 2.0 compatibility. I mean, everything you want in a gaming monitor and it's got that thousand hour curve radius. So it just basically keeps you in the zone so yeah look honestly check out the g9 it's worth picking up and it's worth gaming on hopefully you guys found what you're looking for in terms of best buys for this holiday season and also black friday if you have any questions or any comments about any of the items you've seen on the list or you want some more suggestions leave those comments down below again don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and always enjoy your entertainment